What's up, you beautiful bastards? Hope you're having a consensually sexual Wednesday here. Let's just jump into it. If you're new to the channel, then just know that I'm gay as fuck. And let's just jump into it. Hey, yo, so it turns out that Valve does not want to give a shit at all. Like, Steam just... It is going to be a rotten wasteland for the next few years. So this is a real quick story, and I'm real sorry for not uploading last Monday. Uh, the problem was I'm kind of getting ready to move out, and things are getting kind of hectic. I'm calling so many apartments. I'm organizing my shit, and I'm buying plane tickets to get the fuck out of here. Thank you all so much for your donations from the last few streams. That really helped. But hey, I'm out of here. I'm almost out of here, rather. Uh, and I'm getting ready for all that shit. So if you see some inconsistencies with the upload times, I know I'm supposed to upload Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays, but right now it's kind of hectic. So yeah, just forgive me for that. But hey, this is a quickie right now. I want to talk about how Valve doesn't give a shit. It's really cool. Okay, so if you don't know what's going on, there was this really shitty game called Active Shooter. And I might make a video about that someday in the future, but maybe not. If you don't know what it is, it's a game where you simulate... <sighs> Quote unquote simulate. There's so many fucking games that claim to be a simulator when in reality they're not. Whatever. It's a game that simulates the feeling of being a school shooter or the SWAT team member that attacks that school shooter. And they were gonna, like, they, they planned on making an update where you could be the victim of the school shooting or whatever. It's, it's fucked up. It's dumb. And obviously, it's only a cash grab for controversy. They, they, they just want to cash in on that controversy train. They just laughed all the way to the bank. Unfortunately, it didn't work because Steam promptly pulled down that shit super hard, and then they started policing really hard after that. They they started talking about a lot of other shit, a lot of other games that have nudity and sex in them, and they kind of threatened a few game developers. I'm not sure if it was before or after the school shooting game where they were like, hey, you got to remove all the, the super explicit gay shit that's in your stuff, aka the dicks and the vaginas and the stuff, or we'll remove you from the stupid Steam page store. And a lot of people were rightfully really mad about that because why is it that we're going to remove this game, but you're also going to remove a bunch of games that have just nudity in them, and nudity isn't really that big of a deal outside of America. So, well, what's the big what's the big ish? What what what's up with that? So, <laughs> fucking Valve announced today that they don't give a shit. They just don't give a shit. Stop stop complaining to me. I don't care. I don't care, Valve says. I just don't care. Just, uh, uh, where's the Advil? I need Advil. My head is fucking throbbing. I just don't care. Shut the fuck up. Just, you know what? Every, every game ever made is allowed. Okay? Every game, every game is allowed here. Okay? You're, you're allowed. You're allowed. You're definitely allowed. Everyone is allowed here so long as it's not illegal. You know? And by illegal, that's a broad term, but you know what? It's illegal, it's illegal. You know, it's a pizza pasta. You, you're out of here. Get the fuck out. Oh, what, <laughs> what a weird response. I know I'm supposed to be outraged just like everyone else on Twitter is about this whole thing, but I'm really not. I think there's something intriguingly ballsy about this and also outrageously maniacal about this. You don't care that there's dumb shit out there like the games I showed in screenshots, but you care about... Nothing. Wait, what do you care about? You just, you're just letting everyone into this place and making Steam Store much more of a cesspool than it already is. And listen, it's not bad. It, it's, it's not a bad thing that they said this. You know, there have been games out the wazoo since day one, since they allowed every indie gamer to upload their shit. It's, it's been there since day one, and some YouTubers make YouTube videos out of it. You know, they, they make a series out of it. Let's find the worst games ever and play them for like a couple of minutes and see how bad they are, you know? That's just how bad the Steam store is. But it seems like the, the, the filth that is currently just out of the gate, just coming through, is kind of too much for Valve, that they just don't care and they don't want to care, so they're just letting it all through. And that's a very interesting, interesting solution to it. That's like if YouTube just didn't give a shit. They just didn't give a shit about the advertisers. And they were just like, yo, we don't care. Everybody can upload porn now. This is you porn. This is you porn plus two. It's despacito to everybody. Everybody just gets to do whatever they want here. It is the wild, wild west, and it will remain the wild, wild west. For pretty much the entirety of Steam's run, which is infinite. <laughs> I don't know, that's all I really have to say. Like, what else do you want me to say about this? I mean, specifically, let me see if I can find a quote, but specifically they did say a few things about it directly. So, Steam, 
in this article right here, uh, they basically said, we ended up going back to one of the principles in the forefront of our minds when we started Steam and more recently as we worked on Steam Direct to open up the store to many more developers. Valve shouldn't be the ones deciding this, Valve said in the announcement. If you're a player, we shouldn't be choosing for you what... <laughs> What content you can or can't buy, which sounds just so cynically awesome. It's just like, Christ, they don't care. If you're a developer, we shouldn't be choosing what content you're allowed to create. Those choices should be yours to make. Our role should be to provide systems and tools to support your efforts, to make these choices for yourself, and to help you do it in a way that makes you feel comfortable. With that principle in mind, we decided that the right approach is to allow everything onto the Steam store except for the things we decide are illegal or straight up trolling, which is dumb. I don't think they, they should have added that last part because I don't think they care about the trolling and I don't even think they know what trolling is. If you saw those three examples that I just showed, trolling will always exist and I don't think there'll ever be a complete discerning opinion of what is trolling versus what is not trolling. You know, like you could say Goat Simulator is just straight of trolling right because it's just a bad shitty game that you only make youtube videos out of you know a few haha hoo hoos a million views out of it you know but you could also say that it's not trolling and it's just a piece of art that's parodying uh really bad games how can you really tell and i don't think they should have added that last part to their statement because they will never care about it They're, they they will never actually look into trolling games the illegal stuff fine i understand that i i, I understand that flexibility you're giving us that you could just allow anything except the illegal stuff but like trolling is is so broad that it, it's kind of crazy that they'd even add that because I, I know they don't care anyways i'm rambling there's really nothing more to add than that it's just so fucking weird and funny that valve just straight up said Nope, nope, fuck it. We're not your parents. We don't care what you do. We don't care if you put on porn. We don't, we just don't care. We just don't care. It's not us. It's, nope, not us. Not, nope, nope. It's up to you. It's up to you. We don't care. Please shut up. Stop talking to us. We got games to develop and money to make. I'm out of here. Peace out. Anyways, guys, thank you all so very much for watching. I know this is a very haphazard fucking video I made and I have no script. And I understand that it's a little annoying to have videos like this when I don't have a script because I know a lot of... I know. I know. I know. But I have a lot to think about right now on my mind. Uh, Friday, I'll, I, I hope I can upload something much better and much more fantastical, right? Hope you guys will enjoy that. And I hope to see you soon. Patrons, you'll get a video tomorrow. Hope you enjoy that. All right. Love you all so very much. Goodbye.